Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be sharing some tips and advice for incoming high school freshmen. And if you are someone who is about to enter high school, I recommend checking my busting high school myths video. It's basically where I tell you how your expectations of high school will be crushed. <laughs> No, but seriously, I tell you what high school is really like based on my experience. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. I made a list of 10 things. Um, the first few are things that you should do before you enter high school, and the rest is like throughout your freshman year. So, let's get started. So the first thing that you should know before going to high school is if you are going to like a big high school, or if it's like big compared to your middle school, I highly recommend like going to orientation or if you have like some shadow days. So if you have anything like that, I highly recommend going there. I had a big high school and so with really like getting to walk around and like especially if you have someone to like guide you, that's just really good for like getting to orient yourself around the campus before you actually start going there. I also highly recommend like on the first day of school or if you can before the first day of school, definitely try to walk out your high school schedule just so you won't be embarrassed by like looking lost on your first day of school. I did that. I went to school extra early the first day in order to just make sure I knew exactly where my classes were. Okay, so the second thing is on your first day of school, just make sure that you bring a pen or a pencil and a notebook. They usually don't do anything the first day of school, but just in case you need to write something down, definitely have like a notebook and some kind of writing thing. <laughs> But yeah, especially the first day of school, usually the first week, you don't need much. So you don't have to bring or buy all those supplies that they might give you a list to buy. Okay, so the third thing is do not run to class. I have seen so many kids, I guess they were running late, um, I mean they were probably running late, but they would run to class and unless you want that unnecessary attention, like don't run to class it just makes you like everybody looks at you because you're literally the only one doing it so just try to save yourself the embarrassment and don't run to class definitely if you're late it's like speed walk but don't run yeah <laughs> So the next tip is that you will make friends in high school. So I am a person that is pretty shy, like I don't really go approaching people and I really didn't do that in high school. And honestly, you just make friends naturally. Like that's how I made friends in high school. It's like you just get to know each other through your classes and stuff and then eventually you guys just talk and it happens. You don't necessarily like have to go the first day or the first week just like going up to everyone and getting to know them. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, and also your friend group from freshman year is probably not going to be the same as your friend group in senior year. You will probably experience many times where you will lose a bunch of friends, you make new friends, like it just happens in high school. So you shouldn't really expect those people to stick around, especially because like high schoolers tend to change a lot from their freshman to senior year. And for me, honestly, I mean this is something that I've lived by my whole life is like a smaller friend group is generally better in my opinion than a big friend group. It is better to have a small group of real friends than a big group of fake friends and I feel like if you haven't learned that you'll probably learn that in high school. So the next tip is don't try to be popular in high school. Like really don't try to become the popular group and change yourself just to be in the popular group. It's really not worth it. Like and honestly the popular group is full of a lot of drama. Like you can see it when you see them, you can see the drama, you hear about it if you know them. Like don't sacrifice yourself just to be part of that group because when you're out of high school it doesn't matter nobody remembers that you were popular in high school you don't have to be in a popular group to be in a group in high school there are so many different people like you will find a group where you fit in because everyone even though it seems like everyone's different everyone's unique you might feel like you're overly unique, you know, you may feel like nobody else is like me, I am too weird, I am too awkward, like no one else is gonna be like me. That is simply not true. You will always find a group or at least someone that is similar to you and that you guys will just click and you'll be friends. So the next one is for the girls. So girls, do not feel pressured to have to look your best every single day. I know there were girls in my high school, they would wear crap ton of makeup, they would 
put on dresses, wear high heels literally every single day and then you could see by the end of the day, like they could not walk in their heels. Their knees were bent the whole time they were walking. Do not do that just because you feel like you need to look your best every single day. If you watch my other video, you know that I literally did not care what I wore, how I really looked. Um, obviously, I did brush my hair and everything and try to look nice, but I did not wear makeup, like, really at all. I like, wore, like, a couple times, but not really. I just didn't have the time, nor did I care. The outfit, I didn't care about either because, well, freshman year, I didn't have a uniform policy, but I just didn't care what I wore. I would pretty much just rotate a few things. It was way too early in the morning to just, like, pick out an outfit and, like, spend time picking out an outfit. But, um, so I would just rotate a few things and then by my sophomore year, I think, um, they changed the uniform policy and then obviously, like, I just had, like, two outfits and, like, three pairs of jeans and, like, stuff like that and I just rotated those. On the first day of school and you want to make a good impression, definitely look good. I feel like that's when everybody, like, looks good. But throughout the year, I feel like you find yourself just getting less and less and less of that feeling of like, oh, I have to look my best. And I mean, I feel like you'll realize that you don't have that many people to impress. So as long as you think you look good and you're comfortable with how you look, you're fine. And I feel like that's the thing that a lot of girls deal with is like the pressure. So like you don't feel comfortable the way you are naturally just because you think everybody else looks better. But yeah, you need to feel comfortable with yourself. And there are a lot of those girls that they did a whole face of makeup for high school. They wore high heels every day. And then by the time they're in college, they look back at what they were wearing and how they did their makeup and everything like that. And they were embarrassed or they laugh about the way that they used to dress themselves. It's because they tried too hard to impress and you don't need to do that. Especially not in high school. <laughs> like, you don't need to do that. So next tip is do not make a fool out of yourself or try to show off to impress because usually you're just making a fool out of yourself or you're gonna get up, get up, <laughs> or you're gonna end up in trouble with the dean. So I feel like freshmen, since they're like the lower class men, they sometimes try to act out or try to be funny to be like known because I mean, as a freshman, you're at the bottom of the tier. Honestly, that's probably not gonna work out for you. Don't get in trouble, especially during your freshman year for dumb stuff. Don't try to like TP your high school or egg your high school. Most likely they have video cameras, they will catch you and you will be in trouble anyway, either in the school or with actual police officers. So it's just not worth it, especially your freshman year when you're just starting out high school. That's a bad way to start out. Don't do that. And also, do not do something that you are not 100% sure that you want to do. This is something that happens, I feel like, a lot in high school. It's just the peer pressure or the wanting to fit in. Even if you have like the slightest like disagreement with yourself that like, oh, I don't want to do it, don't do it because the times when people actually end up doing those things, it's just not worth it and they find that out after they do it. So if you are not 100% sure of what you want to do or what others want you to do and that you don't feel like you should do it, don't do it. It's just better to be safe than sorry and I know that that's like a cliche statement but seriously, if you feel like it probably won't be worth it, it really probably will not be worth it. Okay, so the last two things are more like academic wise tips. So try to get the best grades that you can freshman year because this is the easiest year out of high school. It just gets harder and more stressful as you go through the grade levels. So freshman year, really do try to strive for your straight A's, like, or if you can't get straight A's, just seriously do the best that you can, because by the time you are, like, senior year, senioritis probably starts to kick in, and that's where you're like, I'm not doing things, because I just don't feel like it anymore. So seriously, try to save your GPA freshman year. Try to just do your best, because it really does add up at the end. Okay, so I know a lot of you probably have foreign language requirements that you need to meet in high school. So I recommend, and I did this, I recommend if you already know a language or like you kind of know a language, 
take that language in high school and get good grades with it. I know that there were some people in my class who fluently knew Spanish and they ended up taking German in high school and they said it was the worst. It was so much harder than they thought it would be. So like, should have taken Spanish, it would have been a lot easier for you guys. And that's what I did. And this last thing is gonna sound really cliche, but freshman year, really does go by fast like high school especially goes by fast and you'll realize that it really doesn't hit you until you're in senior year and then you're like it feels like we were freshmen just like a few weeks ago and now we're graduating so really do try to make the most of your high school experience especially if you aren't going to college i know that this is probably going to be something that you'll remember for the rest of your life so really do try to make the most of it. Okay guys, that's all my high school tips and advice for you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. If you are entering high school this year, I really hope that these tips helped you out. I will also be responding to any comments that you guys have for like 30 minutes after I post this video. So if you want to leave me a comment, that would be great. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. I feel like I'm like I don't know, I like that. It's, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I don't want to stop that. Ah! How do I say it? I feel like I'm... Every single... Uh, do I like that? No, I'm gonna just...